Hello and welcome back to the Card Life YouTube channel. My name is Rich and today I'm going to be going over a few hints and tips of our cutting tools. So there are two available. There is the hacksaw which is used for curved cuts and the straight saw which is used for straight cuts. So if I just show you a few examples. So first thing to note is that both saws have to be close enough to the piece of card for you to actually cut it. So if I tried to cut this piece of card in front of me from over here and click the left mouse button, it would show me that I wasn't close enough. Now as I move closer, you'll see a white square appear where my reticule is. And this white square basically signifies that I'm now close enough if I want to cut. Both saws have the same controls. Hold down the left mouse button and drag and that will start the cut and you can draw the cut on the piece of card using the mouse. If you're happy with the shape, you can then release the left mouse button and that will actually perform the cut for you. As this is the hacksaw, you can see that it's following my mouse cursor on a one-to-one -one relationship and this obviously gives me a nice curved cut. If I switch to the straight saw and use the same controls, hold down the left mouse button and drag, you can see it's not following my mouse cursor like the hacksaw, it's giving me a perfectly straight line. So I can make several straight line cuts in quick succession. If I want to mix the cuts, I can do so, there's no limitation. I can use a straight line cut here, switch to the hacksaw and then continue on and do a curved cut. So while both saws have individual functionality, they also have some shared behavior. Now this shared behavior is to do with cutting holes. So if I cut this piece of card here, or I use the straight saw and I cut this piece of card like this, if I connect this gap here with this gap here, which you can see is one continuous gap, and vice versa, this is also a continuous gap, and I connect this point to this point, it will actually cause this piece of card to disappear. So you can see if I just do this, it will disappear, and if I switch to the straight saw and I do the same, it disappears. So this is the shared functionality that happens with both saws. We also have some additional visual feedback when you're doing it with the hacksaw, that is if you do do this scenario and you get closer, you'll see a dotted line appear. And this dotted line is basically showing you that this piece is connected now, and if I release the left mouse button, it will actually perform the cut. If I change my mind and I don't want to do that mid-cut, and so for the dotted lines there, I can just simply move away, and it will only cut the, the line that I've drawn. Another thing to note is that if you split a piece of card all the way through, so for example like this, one piece of card will always disappear, and that is always the smallest piece. So in this scenario you can see that the bottom piece is much larger than the top piece, so I do the cut and the top piece disappears. And vice versa if I do the bottom, you can see that the middle piece is again significantly larger and the bottom piece disappears. In some cases when you're building you may not want this to happen and to get around it or a workaround I use what I call shaving is basically you can shave it down. So if I wanted this tiny little piece down here and I wanted this to be the base of the stairs and I didn't want to delete this piece of card and create a new piece of card for whatever reason I could basically just shave it down so that I can quickly get a better piece. Do the cut. And now I can say, okay, that's what I want, and that's allowed me to keep that smaller piece from the greater piece that I originally created. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already tried the demo, you can head over to cardlifegame.com and give it a download. It's totally free. We'd love to hear your feedback, either on our forums or in the comments below. I hope you have a nice day. Cheers.